And good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Kassarian, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Modded. All right, so how's everyone doing today? I hope we're all doing pretty well. Not doing too badly myself. All right, so we have an elevator here that doesn't work, because I need to show you guys how to make one. Okay, how do you make an elevator? Well, that's not too difficult, fortunately. An elevator is a pretty cool block, and what the elevator allows you to do, you can see I've been doing a lot of work off camera. What the elevator allows you to do, in essence, is to create just an easy way of getting up and down stairs. You know, stair replacement, nice. In one block space, allows you to move around pretty easily. Let me get that out of the way. All right, now the nice thing about cotton here is that I believe, yes, it's fairly easy to turn cotton into wool, which is the entire reason we got in the first place. And I don't know why some of my blocks are miscolored, but they are. So, just a, some wool around an ender pearl gets us some, an elevator. Alright, let's come over here. Let's make sure this is lined up. Am I lined up? I'm not lined up. Am I lined up? I'm lined up. So, if I said space, I go up. Space, I go up. Shift, I go down. Shift, I go down. Nice and easy. At the cost of one ender pearl. What are we talking about ender pearls costing things? Oh, right. We're going to get some more work done. Ooh, we got some frame tearing going on today. Interesting. So, one of the things that we want to work on is transport system. And to that end, I made some pulsating iron. Pul pulsating iron is made quite easily with just an iron nugget and an ender pearl in an alloy smelter. Now, what are we going to do with it? Well, that's a pretty good question, actually. We're going to get some conduit binder. I'm going to come over here. And we're going to turn this into some iron nug pulsating iron nuggets and surround it with conduit binder. And that gets us some of these item conduits. Okay. Now, item conduits are pretty cool. They're an Ender IO conduit system, and they're the basically the Ender IO conduit for transporting items around. Now, I think that's pretty sweet. Don't you? I, I would agree. I think that's pretty sweet, too. Uh, let's do that. Let's get some of this stuff out. Again, I wish it wasn't making that dark for some reason. So let's get some a chest like this. And we're just going to open up a hole in the wall and we're going to put that chest right there. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. All right, so let me get one more thing set and I'll be right back. All right, there we go. So what do we do with item conduits and what are we going to do? Well, that's a good question. And what we're going to do is we're going to do some sorting. Okay, sorting, sorting. So, let's get that item conduit, and let's just run it a bit like this, all right? Now, the cool thing about item conduit, and conduits in general, is that they can actually occupy the exact same block space as other types of conduit. Now, in this mode, you see it's currently in output mode, all right? Now, we're going to want to change that around. If I remember how to. Nope. Uh, there we go, shift left click, okay. The mode is gonna be insert, channel green, priority zero. We'll get to all of that. We'll get there, don't worry. So the first thing we're gonna have to do, and this is our little auto processing system that I've decided to work up over here. And the way this works is actually pretty simple. The ore is gonna get dropped into this chest. It's gonna get eaten by these sag mills that are both set to output to the front. On the front side, it's then gonna pull it out and drop it into the four alloy smelters that you see right here. So why don't we do that up really quick? So we're just going to drop these guys down like this. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. And like that. And we're just going to have another connector right here that allows them to cross. Okay, Just to turn that into a little sub-network. And the other thing we're going to have to do, and I'll explain why in a little bit, is we're going to have to run another line straight up. And we're also going to have to disable these. Okay. There we go. So those are now disabled, and we can run this cable straight up like that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. And then we can come back to here... And, uh, actually, that will work fine now, won't it? It should. It should, it should, it should. Okay. 
So what we're going to do now is that we're actually going to start filtering this because as it stands, you know, we could have it set up like this and I guess it would work. You know, this is, this is in input mode. That's in the pull out of it mode. Actually, let's check to make sure that that's in pull. Out. Yeah, it's in pull out mode. It's in pull out of it mode. That's insert mode on those two. You know, it should be, we should be pulling out of that, pulling out of that. Pulling out of that, pulling out of that, pulling out of that, pulling out of that. Actually, this should be in uh, in and out. Uh, for shift left click to open this up, by the way. That should be in in and out. This should be in and out. And this shift left click to open up this, by the way. That should be in and out as well. Okay, awesome. Uh, get out of here. Okay. Now we're going to have to... Really? Go away. I also put some fortune on my uh, sword, by the way. Did a lot of things, actually. All of it minor stuff that you guys didn't really need to see. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start to filter this. And thankfully, Ender.io gives us a few filters. Ender.io wildcard uh, hold on. Filter. There we go. That'll do the trick. So we want some advanced item filters. And this requires a Z logic controller. Yuck. Well, we need a slice and splice. All right. So slice and splice it is. We need the advanced filter here. So a slice and splice is five of this solarium. Okay. What's the solarium? Just some gold and some soul sand. All right. So why don't we make up some of that? Now, if I can remember where this stuff I need is located. Um, I know I have some soul sand laying around somewhere. At least I thought I did. Yes, I do. Let's do... You know, let's just be crazy. Let's just do... Hey! Leave me alone. I'm trying to record. Let's just do 32. You guys can see I did a little bit of mining. Alright. So we're going to have to chuck this into the alloy smelter. And the soul sand in alloy mode. Thank you very much. Let's just get rid of some junk in our inventory. Oops. We can get one of those back. Resort that. And just for temporary purposes, I moved everything over to here. And I've just been chucking the stuff in right there. You can see I'm using flint as a multiplier there. Because why not? Oh, I already had some wool. No, oh, look at that. Um, I've been using that as a multiplier. Let's go back to mob drops. And what the flint does is it increases the output and just hold shift over it just to see how much it's increasing it by. Magical items. And you guys can see why I kind of want to get myself a sorting system going at some point in the nearby future. Alright, so what else are we going to need for this? Uh, we're going to need a machine chassis. Okay. Now what do we need for that again? Basic capacitor, iron and iron bars. Okay. So I need... I'm out of iron bars. Okay. So let's get 6, 10, right? I need a basic capacitor. Okay, I know how to make that. So four of you, one of you, and two of you. This whole scroll wheel to do things thing is really quite awesome, by the way. We got ourselves our basic capacitor. We're going to need some iron bars. Thank you very much. Oops. In the corners. Okay. And some iron to go with it. And I need another five iron, right? And some sticks. Okay. So let's go like this. And like that, like this, and then I need some sort of mob head, right? Any sort of mob head? Okay. Uh, what do I have the most of that I don't really need? Um, creeper head. Okay, so let's pull that. We got our creeper head, we got our shears, and our iron axe. And now let's see if we got some solarium yet. Oh, the perfect number that we need. Look at that. Okay. So, we'll get our solarium put in here. And we got ourselves a slice and splice. 
Now we're gonna need a little bit more iron because not only is this machine, are those shears and ax required to craft with, but you also need them to actually do the work itself, okay? All right, so let's break uh, this. I should have some energy conduits on me. Let's throw this machine down somewhere. Where did I put it? There it is. That's the problem with everything graying out my inventory for some reason. Okay, so that's put there, and that's charging up, and we'll put these in like that. Awesome. Now, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to take this guy, drop him down, take all the ores out of here. And these are all the ores that I found so far in my world exploration and mining. Okay. And for the sake of not losing things, well, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. Apparently it's something with a strong box and rendering. Okay. So, we're just going to take this. Make sure you're empty. And steal that. Because I have a whole system that I'm working on over here. And let's drop you over here. We can configure you for that to be the push. Okay, good. Awesome. Now that guy's ready to run. Let's see what we need for the advanced filter. Okay. Um, let's just do filter. Advanced item filter. I need a Z-Logic controller. All right, that's two Solarium and a zombie head. So let's get a few of those. All right. We need silicon as well. There we go. And we need redstone. Okay, that's not too bad. So let's get out some redstone. Okie dokie. So if we just put that stuff in here. Oh, it's one at a time, huh? Interesting, okay. And the redstone. That should start running. Beautiful. And this also means we're probably going to need another chest. Actually, I'm kind of hesitant to do that because, well, you know. I'm going to have a bunch of chests in the nearby future that I'll need, so we'll just steal that for right now. We'll drop that in there. We'll drop that in there, that in there, and that in there. Are you done yet? Basically. So I wonder if I can now... Oh, look at that. Okay, so it's intelligent enough to do that. But not intelligent enough to filter another one. Alright, that's fine. So, if we look at the advanced item filter, we now need some paper and some redstone. Awesome. Okay, so let's go over to... Is it in here, or did I put it into here? Or maybe over here? Seriously? Seriously. We'll do the group five, six. Let's get that. And let's get ourselves some paper. And we also need some redstone. There we go. Okay, now if I remember correctly, it was like this, like that, and like that gets me an advanced item filter. Now can I filter it? No. Okay. So I have to go downstairs first. Not too difficult. Alright, so now if I open up this guy, right, and I put this in, I can now filter. Awesome. So, let's look at this. Or dictionary disabled, whitelist. We'll enable the or dictionary, so that means if we have multiple types of stuff that are all connected, we can, you know... Ooh, that's cool. Okay. If we have multiple types of, say, copper or aluminum, then this shouldn't care what they are. So that may make our scheduling a little bit easier. We can set a whitelist or blacklist mode, so what is allowed in. So we're either saying only these items are allowed in, or we're saying everything but these items are allowed in. Match the metadata or NBT data. That's a bit more complicated. Metadata is... Uh, let's see, is there multiple? Yes, okay, right here. So see how this is 1469 and this is 1469.1, colon 1? Colon 1 is its metadata. Metadata kind of determines what variation of an item you're looking at. Or that's N 
and then NBT data is stuff that's like enchantments. Enchantments are all stored as NBT data, okay? And sticky mode. We'll get to sticky mode in the future. All right. So we're going to keep it on the green channel. We're going to flip it priority up to one. All right. Priority one. Eins. Beautiful. Now, what are we going to do? Pretty darn good question, actually. All right. So these guys are going to pull out, and that's pretty sweet. All right. We need to get something for that machine to filter by. So let's jump upstairs, and let's start looking at that handy little ores chest that we had. Okay? This thing. Beautiful. All right. All the ores we need to process in this game. I like it. So let's come back over to here, and let's configure this machine. So now all I should have to do is left-click here, and I can say I want tin to go in. I want ferrous to go in. I want cadmium to go in. I want aluminum to go in. I don't think we need to specify tin, because tin's from Electrocraft. I want lead to go in. I don't think we need nickel. I want silver to go in. I want shiny to go in. I want uranium to go in. I want aluminum to go in, and I want iron to go in. And we have an issue. We've run out of storage space. Uh-oh. Well, let's just test my assumption, okay? So I have tin from Thermal Foundation in there. Well, let's throw tin from a... Let's throw tin from Thermal Foundation into there. And do I have to configure you anymore? No. Oh. Always active. There we go. And did one of you guys run? Tell me when you guys ran. Oh, look at that. Okay, we have now have tin dust from IC2 in there. Awesome. So now let's chuck in tin from Electrocraft. And that should wind up in one of these. Yes, it did. Okay. So now let's throw in aluminum from TCON. And that should wind up in one of these. And now let's see if I throw in aluminum from Electrocraft. And that wound up in here, even though it shouldn't. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we'll have to figure out a way to deal with that. Um, yeah, okay, so I can't grind it. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, so we're going to have to figure out how to do that. Uh, okay. So let's just drop... Now, I don't think iron is programmed, right? Copper? Copper, are you programmed? No, copper's not... So we can actually see what's programmed and what's not just by dropping them all into here. Okay. And stuff with nowhere to go isn't going to move. Beautiful. So let's shift click this. Aluminum from Tinkers. Let's take aluminum from Electrocraft off of there. And then we can throw copper on there. Okay. Let's throw copper on like that. And now when I throw the copper into here, it should automatically get processed out. Right? I think so, at least. Okay, so let's get some of this, some of this, some of this, some of this. And then some of this, some of this, some of this, some of this, uh, none of that. Oops, some of that, but not all of it. Some of that, some of that, some of that, and some of that. Okay. So now we're going to have to set up some more filters. Okay, okay. Now, I'm th starting to think that a better way of doing this, well, this would need four of those zombie filters, okay? And I'm starting to think that a better way might be to use a slightly different, so, well, it's only four zombie filters. Oh, come on, buddy. Give it a break. Speaking of zombies, looks like we just got some more, another zombie head. Yay. All right, jump to here, jump to here. We'll come up here. Let's see how this guy's doing. Uh, no. Not at all. Okay. So let's come to here. We need... That's one. So let's go like that. Like that. Like this and like that. How's the solarium going? Good. We have plenty more. Okay. Like that. Like that. Like this. And like... I have redstone somewhere. Like that. All right. One, two, three. Da-dum. 
I'm going to have someone come over visit soon. Alright. And that was my handy dandy timer telling me that I have reached the 20 minute mark. But we'll just get this part finished up quickly and then we'll get on to the next part of this episode. I hear you. Thank you for dying. Good, we have four of them now. Awesome. Alright, let's come back over to here. We can start putting stuff away a little bit. Need it, need it. Um, no, I need that. I want to put that away. And we're running into a slight problem. I think I just heard some, several people online go, yeah, we're running into a slight problem, Kess. You're running the heck out of crap. You're running out of uh, paper. I am running out of paper. But thankfully, we have a way of dealing with that. Let's look at some reactor craft stuff. Reactor craft adds calcite. And calcite's pretty cool stuff, actually. But one of the things you can do with calcite is smelt it down. And once smelted, it's going to turn into quicklime. All right? Now, if I look at the uses for quicklime, you can see that with a bucket of water and a piece of wood, it turns into 16 paper. So why don't we get ourselves a bucket of water? And let's just get a piece of wood so we can just do it down there. Uh, fine. Oak wood. Let's actually run for once, and let's also have a bite to eat while we're at it. Om nom 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 nom. All right, there we go. So let's come back down to here. Let's get our water. Vasa bitte, vasa. We'll put that there. We'll find our quick lime and our piece of wood and get ourselves some paper. Beautiful. A little bit easier than growing up a lot of reeds. I do have some reeds growing over there, but I just kind of wanted to show you that trick while I was at it. I believe you can also use quick lime to turn rotten flesh into uh, leather as well. I think. Okay. So let's come into here. Let's get our Z logic controllers. Let's get a wee bit more redstone. Let's get our paper down and our redstone down. And we get some more advanced filters. Great. If you notice, um, Ender IO is a little heavy on certain processes. Okay. So now we can come down to here, we can drop down to here, we can shift left click, put an item, uh, you don't want to do that, okay. Put an item filter in and start sorting it. And this is just a process of cadmium dust, copper dust, iron dust, shiny dust, Ferrous dust, uranium iron, and so we'll start on the next one with lead. This is one thing you can do, by the way, with this sort of a setup, is you can kind of stagger what goes where. And I know that cadmium is one of the things that we'll be pulling up the least. And the thing is, just to kind of make sure that you stagger them just a little bit, all right? So here, we're going to add another advanced item filter. And we're going to enable the ore dictionary. Yeah, we'll match all that stuff. And we'll start with cadmium. And this time, we'll, we won't do shiny in this one, because shiny is yet another one that is fairly rare. And we'll just add all of these in like this. Oops. And we're also just going to leave shiny off on this side again. Again, shiny dust is pretty darn rare, okay? Now, what I could be doing here, and I just realized it as I'm doing this, is I could play a little trick, okay? Hmm. It would mean that everything coming through those macerators would be, put, would be smelted, but I think everything here is smelted, essentially. So let's yank these guys out, all right? 
because I just had an idea. Shift click. In out. Okay, good. So I can change that. So we'll change this to brown, all right? Shift click, extract brown. Extract brown, okay? So now we're going to do shift click, insert brown. We'll pull this out. We will come over to here. Channel brown. Now, item conduits will only send to each other on certain channels. By the way, to clear these, just throw them in here. We will use these. We're just not going to use them this second. So they're pulling out on green, right? And then this guy is inserting on green. Okay, good. So I don't think we have any issues right now. Right? Right. So that's that brown. Awesome. Okay. Now, it does mean that any items... Oh, we should also probably do this. Uh, first of all, we want these to be set to furnace mode only. Otherwise, weird things may happen. And then we also need to configure these guys to pull from the bottom, I think. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing we're going to need to do. Is set this to always active. And always active. And I think... Okay, so we didn't need to configure. They're just going to go. Good. And these are going to do their best not to overload it. Okay? Now, the nice thing about all this is that these will not pull items out that can't go anywhere. All right? And because it's on brown, everything coming out is going to get automatically shoved into here. There were other ways to do this, yes, but I kind of liked the way this looked. And actually, the way this is working now, I don't think we need this line here either. Okay. So now at least we have an auto-processing system. And just to make it a little easier to see, we're going to go here, and we're going to get ourselves our item conduits. And why aren't you picking up? Because uh, you're being silly. We'll put that there and that there. And do I have another chest laying around somewhere? Apparently not. Let's go grab one. Okay. Chest, 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 chest. Chest, 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 chest. Or I could just loop it back. I mean, that's always doable. Yeah, let's not do that for right now. Um, this will just be a temporary chest. Why am I doing it this way? I'm trying to use up all my spruce wood. All right, so let's come over to here. Let's get ourselves another chest. And we should be able to see that we will have a completed sorting system. Or at least a completed auto-processing system at any rate. Break that. Yeah, I know. I didn't need to do that. Let's go over to here and wrench this around. Mode insert. Okay. And we should see... Oh, right. We need to do some more configuration. Extract mode. Always active. Oh, crap. Mode, in and out, insert, extract, good, always active. Insert, extract, always active. Insert, extract, always active. Insert, extract, always active. Okay. Now we should be able to see this guy should be filling up with all of the smelted materials that we've been waiting for. Beautiful, would you look at that. We now have a running system. Okay, and unfortunately, we don't seem to have power coming in here yet. What, oh, derp. Uh-huh. Now are you guys running properly? You're not refilling. Why is that? I have power lines coming through here. Are we just exceeding... Let's see. 640. And each of these is doing what? 20? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That 
isn't even... Let's see. Six times 20 should be 120. Yeah, six times two is 12. Yeah, 120. So then why aren't you guys filling up? Well, I'll figure that out off camera, I guess. Yeah, I'll figure that off camera. Anyways, guys, this has been Mr. Kassarian. I want to thank you guys for watching. As always, if you have any comments or questions, please give them to me in the comments, and I'll do my best to get back to you on them. So, as always, this has been Mr. Kassarian. I want to thank you guys for watching. Oh, there's our problem. And happy mining, guys. <laughs>